G'day folks, as I'm sure you all know, I'm keen to get this Pulse Jet Powered Mini Talon project going. And this is, but I can't at the moment because this is the results of the very short run of the Hobby King Pulse Jet. The welding was so bad it just let go and now we've got this horrendous crack which I'll have to weld up and it's paper thin either side of it so it may even be futile to try and repair that because the, the metal will just burn away. It's very hard to weld thin stainless as it is but when it's been ground to paper thinness, yeah, there's often a lot, a lot you can do about it. So I did think ahead though, when I bought this Hobby King Pulse Jet I thought you know, sometimes reviewers curse that I have on my RC model review channel, sometimes just bad luck. I think I better buy two, so I have a spare one. Let's unpack it. And here it is in the box, never been opened, so now's the time. Um, let's see, how do I open this box? That seems like roughly the way to do it. And down here as well, I hope. Yeah, something like that. I don't do unboxings and RC model reviews, but I'm doing one on XJet because this is the Hobby King Pulse Jet. Let's have a look. I did review this on my RC Model Reviews channel. If any of you missed that, you can go and have a look. There you go. And it, yeah, there it is. Ta da! New super speed. Yeah, right. Speed at which they ground the shit out of it. <clears throat> anyway, let's take the box and open up the end. Oh no! How do I open it? Oh, no. oh, it goes this way. Here we go. Hang on. More tape, more tape. So if you're going to buy one of these engines, this is what you'll get. You'll get all this bubble wrap. Bloody marvellous. Bubble wrap to Christmas. And there is the other, the new Hobby King Pulse Jet that I haven't even looked at yet. Let's have a look. Hopefully it's better. Oh man, look at that. Look at the ovalness in that tailpipe. That is awful. Oh, gosh darn it. That is just, that's just appalling. Oh, this is worse than the first one. Oh, what can I say? Rubbish. Anyway, hopefully... Uh, and it's all ground, the snot's all ground out of it as well. Oh man. Warning! Buy this at your own risk because it's probably going to be crap. Um, there you go. Let's have a look inside and see what the inside is like because that's the crucial factor. How much snot have they ground out of this? Excuse me while I take a look. Oh, look, at, look at the oval. Look, I'll try and get a shot with the, if we can see right through there, get some white background on this so you can see the, hopefully you can. Look how oval that is. That is awful. It's important that these pole sheets are round in shape because when you turn a round shape into an oval shape, you actually end up um, losing a lot of cross-sectional area. An, an oval or an ellipse has much lower cross-sectional area than a true circle. So the tuning goes all out to hell in a handbasket. This is, this is worse. This is way worse than the first one I bought. Oh, I despair. I despair. Um, <sighs> Hopefully it's stronger. It won't run as well, obviously, because this is this is just not even close to round. Oh, I pulled my hair out. I've got a spare ignition system. Yeah, that's good because I've already got one of those. I will see what I can do about. I'll, I'll try and get this running. See if it's going to work. Oh, this is so bad. I have a feeling I'm going to have to make my own body to get a pulse jet that's going to run on this mini Talon. I'll probably just make up a body which is um, typical Dynajet dimensions because none of these are any good. Hobby King, this is one of the, I mean, this could have been one of the best products you ever made, but it's, in terms of quality control, it's the worst I've seen out of Hobby King at all. I'm sorry to have to say it, but really, this is just crap. This bit, the machine bit, fine, that's lovely. I mean, it's, it's a really nice thing, but what you're doing is you're buying a valve head and you're getting this crap-ass piece of crap metal in the back which it really is just not going to be any good at all. Never mind. So, well, there you go. I've opened the new Hobby King Pulse Jet. Now I'll get around to, I'll put it up on the test, oh, it rolls away. How about that? That's pretty good. I'll put it on the test stand and see if I can get it to run. Um, I don't hold out much hope in terms of its actual power output because of that overling. And I don't know that it's going to be any more uh, durable than the one that I blew up last time after less than 15 seconds of running. Oh, man. So anyway, we'll see what we can do. Probably going to have to make up a whole new body to get this mini talon going. What a shame. What a shame. Hobby King, if you actually just made some bloody pulse jets to spec, that'd be a brilliant buy. And I'd be pushing the hell out of them and showing people how to put them on models. But I can't recommend anyone buys one of these. I'm sorry, I can't. Based on the two examples I've got, you're wasting your money. Sorry, Hobby King. Piece of crap. I paid for both of these and I wish I hadn't. There you go. Um, so next video, I will be testing this out. And I'll also be putting one pulse jet, either one of these or one of the valve head with a body I've made of my own, onto that mini talon. And then we'll be 
seeing if it flies. So stay tuned, X Jet channel viewers. Hopefully exciting stuff coming up, even if it's complete and utter disaster. <laughs> Bye for now.